My name is Jessica Rankin, and we are here in my studio in Harlem, uh, where I've lived and worked for 20 years. I've been working on this uh, body of work for the exhibition with White Cube in Hong Kong for about two years. It started with a large-scale painting that I made that sort of ha has a feeling of uh, transcendental or kind of spiritualist occult imagery in it. Um, I was thinking a lot about Hilma F. Klimt and Agnes Pelton, artists like that, and, and also thinking about my own lexicon of imagery that I've been working with. That became sort of the cornerstone of the exhibition. Um, my early work was really uh, purely embroidery, and I was really interested in expanding the language of embroidery and thinking about it as a medium for expression above and beyond its history as a craft or as a kind of women's you know, technique of art craft making. I started to really feel interested in sort of troubling the line between uh, embroidery and, and the language of painting. At a certain point, I, I really felt that I'd sort of pushed as far as I could push before I really tipped into painting. As a result, I have this, these embroidered paintings where the embroidered thread behaves like paint, the paint starts to behave like thread, and the two are kind of confusing and, and expanding each other's language. I realized at a certain point that I had been making imagery much, that was very similar to a lot of the imagery that I found in um, my mother's poetry. Um, my mother was a poet, she died very young at 38, but she left a body of work that left it huge mark on me, as well as, I think, within her community of poets in Australia. Uh, in these painted paintings that have embroidery in them, there is also a body of language, which I put onto the sides of the canvases. And that is where the, the language that I've taken from my mother's poems is sitting. And so it's in conversation with, again, with the imagery on the front, but then also expanding like the sides of the canvases. So they become almost sculptural objects and no longer kind of two-dimensional. I had the sort of uncanny experience of working on this show for a good year and a half, and then uh, we had the eclipse come through New York. I stood on the roof of the building and watched the eclipse through the glasses, and then I came back to my studio and I thought, oh my God, I've been painting the eclipse. I just didn't realize it. And so it felt like this weirdly prophetic exhibition that it was all the Im imagery felt like it had been drawn out from this experience that I hadn't had yet. 